Yeah, what's going on? Uh, we are kicking off day four, uh, smoke free. Still repping the uh, broadside. Oh, sorry there. Can you see it? The broadside and the green apocalypse. Um, forget. I think I'm running five wraps, contact coil with 24 gauge on a three mil. Uh, I I don't remember what the ohms were, but I know that they were well above. Um, a uh, pushing it level. Um, it's like a point one four, maybe a point one eight, I think. Um, but the response on it is it's cracking. I love it. Um, I think today's going to be a rebuilding day. Uh, I've got this RDA. I think I think I might want to put something different in uh, other than a round wire. Not quite sure what I want to do yet with it. Probably fused Clapton's. I, it, the only problem that I have with fused Clapton's is okay. I don't know if I have the type of wire I would need to get a build low enough uh, for where I'd be happy with. Um, with a ramp up speed that would make me happy as well. Um, so yeah, today is day four, and I'm I'm looking forward to it. I don't think today is going to be too horrible. Um, one sec. Yeah, she's a pitching them today. Forecast is cloudy, and the uh, flavor of the day is the Jam Monster Strawberry in three milligram. Uh, for those points in the day that I'm really uh, having a hard time, I'm going to be swapping back to the uh, One Hit Wonder uh, Rocket Man, which is in six milligram. So uh, I do have a couple of different options there as far as uh, strength goes. And so far, it's been going well. I've been using a lot of the six milligram lately. I did step it up from the three, uh, where I know at the beginning of before I even started this vlog, before I started, you know, my journey smoke free, uh, I know I, you know, discussed that with several people in my uh, knucklehead vape fam, and uh, they had suggested maybe st stepping my game up to a, a higher milligram nicotine uh, e liquid simply because the three. Uh, I was still having a really hard time with just the three milligram uh, nicotine juice, but I stepped it up to a six. Um, you know, once all of this is said and done, I'm going to be starting to, uh, you know, wean down from the six down to hopefully down to a zero. Uh, I'd like to be 100% nicotine free, not just cigarette free. Um, but that's that's another challenge for another time. Uh, right now, my main goal is just to stay off the cigarettes. And so far, it's doing all right. Um, yeah, today's going to be kind of a home day. So, uh, yeah. So I'm repping the broadside for a while. I don't think... Um, I don't really think I have much to do today. So... Uh, I'm going to be working around here, putzing around the house, um, rebuilding some, some of these RDAs, stick a new build in my, uh, in my dead rabbit on the, uh, oh, there it is, actually, on the uh, Pulse BF. I think I might want to throw a new build in that. Right now, I'm currently rocking a single coil build. It's, oh, my Christ, I don't even remember. I think it's like eight or nine wraps I think that's stainless um, but yeah so it's gonna be another adventure it's gonna be another challenge uh, but I, I anticipate it and I welcome it it the challenge in addition to this video uh, these videos I should say and not just this video uh, in addition to these videos, 
I, I think that the challenge really is what pushes me right now. Um, knowing that, that I'm going to be facing some rough patches and that, that I'm strong enough to push through it, that I'm going to come out the other side of this. Uh, but again, you know, just like all my other videos, it's, it's one day at a time, you know, that it's all we can do. We can take it one day at a time. Don't look at tomorrow, look at today, take today for what it is, make it the, the best day that you can give it the best you got. And, uh, I'm sure you'll succeed. Um, yeah, so no, I'm not sure. I don't really know. I know I love you all um, so much for for all your support, for all your help. Um, I don't think I've ever had so many people supporting me in anything that I've done through life as I do right now. Um, I have a lot of friends and family and to all of you out there, um, my personal friends and family uh, that I know on a personal face-to-face -face level, I have a lot of you guys and I love you all and thank you very, very much uh, for all of your continued support, for standing behind me on uh, this uh, difficult challenge that, that I'm trying to take on. Um, in addition to them, my knucklehead vape fam, uh, your numbers are massive and truth be told, I'm, to you guys, I'm almost a perfect stranger and to see the community come together and it, it wouldn't even, even if it weren't me, if it were somebody else that was doing this and I was watching uh, from the, the outside looking in, uh, and I was to see all of the, the wonderful comments and the wonderful support that I get from you guys. It, it, for you guys to do that for somebody who you've never met before, uh, who only a few days earlier was actually accepted into the group, that shows me a lot. Um, I think a lot of a lot of us have lost that that human humanism. I guess is the word uh, I want to use. Humanism? No, not really. Uh, that kind of humanity um, and caring that it we've our generations lost that. Uh, a lot of people these days, uh, you know, they've grown up selfish. Uh, they've grown up having things handed to them. They're greedy. Uh, I've been that way, you know, at, at points. I've learned I was making mistakes, but we we lost touch with our, our human sides, I think, um, due to uh, political and religious diversity. Um, through everything that happens every day. Uh, all we ever really see on TV nowadays is hatred, killing, drugs, terrorists, you name it, all this negative, negative, negative stuff every day, all over the news. It's, it's really sad. That's all they want to really report on. Um, you know, once in every blue moon, you'll come across a, n a news program that's actually putting something positive on the on the TV screen. We need more people like you all, knucklehead vape fam. You guys, you guys blow me out of the water. I'm astounded by the uh, just the sheer amount of caring that I've seen through through the group in just a few short days. You know, less than a week I've been a part of the group and yeah, you know, so to all of you, everybody, knucklehead vape fam, 
and to the rest of my family and my friends, um, I love you all. And we're going to do this. We're going to come out the other side. And I'm going to stay alive. And I'm going to keep doing what I do. Oops. It helps if you have both airflow holes open. That's much better. All right. Actually, I think that one was a little dry. And she was. So we go. Bloop, 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 bloop. Paint these coils up one time. So, yeah, if anybody out there that watches this, uh, any of my knucklehead vape fam or if I have vapors in my r friends and family outside of team knucklehead uh, and you guys have any opinions feel free to shoot them out in the comments and um, my question is what would you put in the apocalypse for a single 18650 for a fused Clapton what wires would you use to get a good build, dual or single coil setup, um, using fused Claptons on the broadside with the Apocalypse. What would you build? What wires would you use uh, if you were building a fused Clapton for an Apocalypse on a broadside? That's my question. I have some that I've already pre-built you know, months ago that I've never used that I could possibly throw in here. I just forget what they all mount to. And honestly, I think I'd almost rather just build a new set of coils anyways. It's been a while and I need to uh, keep my hands fully practiced with wrapping these wires. It's, um, it's fun, you know. Before I started getting serious about quitting smoking, I, um, I started with, with zero milligram juice uh started with my very first mod which was a um it was a smock stick v8 kit and it came with the big baby beast tank and it was a decent little setup it was a nice little regulated device that was absolutely perfect for what what i was looking for uh like i said i started with zero i had already quit maybe two weeks before I started vaping, I was already done. Um, but it was still something I wanted to get into anyways. And I was fine. I, you know, I used the vape and I stayed off cigarettes for a year. You know, it, it wasn't like vaping was the reason I went back to smoking, you know, um, just because I was using zero milligrams you know, I don't, I don't know. I see it as both a smoking cessation aid and hobby as well. I know a lot of people feel the same way as I do. And uh, it is. It's a lot of fun. And it's, it's good when you can take an interest and take your hobby that helps you to stay off cigarettes and just kind of turn it around. Um, turn it into a fun thing. You know, it's not so much of a job. It's not so much of a challenge if you're actually having fun with it, I think. And I, I'm definitely having some fun with this. Um, you know, coil building. I built maybe a month ago, I think I built my first set of aliens. Um, I had practiced a bunch beforehand and I would get little sections. Uh, never anything, you know, long enough to build a coil out of. Um, but as of like, I think it was a month ago, maybe, uh, I was actually able to build a length of stick that was uh, easily long enough to get, you know, four wraps, two coils, throw them in a device, and I was good to go. I threw them in my goon. Actually, no, I didn't. I threw them in the apocalypse, but I had the apocalypse on a regulated mod at the time. 
and it's fucking snowing. Yeah, it's fucking snowing out. So, yeah, happy fucking snowing Monday. I don't know. I was thinking about going live later. Um, I might do a, a live video feed on my my personal page. Uh, I won't be doing anything uh, on knucklehead vapes. Um, I know to a lot of people, quitting smoking is not a big deal. And that doesn't include knucklehead vape fam and the, the friends and family I have behind me. That's not, you guys aren't who I'm talking about. Um, it's, it's rough. I wish more people could understand how important quitting the stinkies are. Um, it, it's, it's pretty important. It may not affect your life right this very second, but it is affecting your life right this very second. It's every drag you take, every cigarette you pull out of that pack, it's slowly draining your life. And I think we owe it to ourselves. I think we owe it to our family and our friends. Uh, and I especially 